Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel to a brand new video and as you can see we're kicking off this video with a new backdrop. So if you've all been following along on the renovation blogs, the last renovation blog I posted we finally finalised and styled up this utility room behind me. Bootility, we've got a boot room, we've got a doggy wash, it's a multifunctional room, laundry room, you name it, the working part of the house. Basically, I am ecstatic to have a different backdrop in my videos. I bet you're all sick of seeing, because I definitely am as well. I've got to edit these videos back, you guys, like probably twice. Probably do two edits per video, so I've got to watch the two videos back twice and I'm sick to death of seeing my bedroom in the background. I'm just grateful to have another backdrop, so it's a bit of a weird one, like why are you starting off a video in the boot room? Well, as you can see from the title, we're literally about to put our shoes on, we're going to Primark, yay! Again, you might say, and last time, in fact all the other times we go to Primark, I never ever ever film in the home section and the reason for that is the local Primark to me they have a home section a home corner I call it it's absolutely dire so I don't go upstairs because it's men's and we don't shop for men up there it's kids we don't do kids in this house <laughs> well we don't have any kids in this house is what I mean by that I do have a daughter she's an adult now she's not a kid so we don't have any kids okay but yeah, upstairs where the men's and the kids stuff is, is a home section and it is just the smallest corner, probably smaller than this corner you're seeing behind me here. And it is just all over the place. Like it's the worst Primark home ever. And it really upsets me to even see it like that because I watch on Instagram and the Primark channels and they show some really good stuff sometimes and they never, ever, ever have any of the good stuff in my local store. But, I've heard on the grapevine that they've improved the store in the home section. So this video is going to be primarily based on Primark Home. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's really good up there. And obviously, I'll have a little look around downstairs. It's not so long ago we actually did a Primark Shop With Me video. I will have a little scan downstairs where the clothing is and all the good stuff to see if there's anything new. So if there's anything new that we didn't show in the last video, basically, I will show it in today's video as well. And who knows if we pick a haul up or not. Let's see if we get inspired. So yeah, let's get the shoes on and um, get to Primark. <laughs> So we've landed here in the home section in Primark. It's looking really good. I am so excited. Automatically being gravitated towards this four flowers range. They've got this wreath. We saw a wreath. Where was it? In, in one of the other shop with me's not long ago. Was it Dunelm? Where was it? Home bargains. And they had like a lavender based wreath like this one. Anyway, um they're very nice they've got lots of hanging little baskets look at that in the little gold pot it looks realistic you know like it's not that shiny shiny green i like the muted matte looking green four plants we've also got some four stems i don't know what this is meant to be is it meant to be baby's breath obviously it's four so it doesn't it doesn't look like baby's breath unless it's meant to be something else let me just dive in here and see if i can find how much that is I think it said £1.30 it was upside down sorry about that <laughs> but very affordable and then they've got these four hydrangeas how much are these £1.50 per stem so that's actually really affordable compared to other shops they've also got these four green hydrangeas and they're five pounds but they've got like they've got a lot of flowers on these ones oh guys look at this this is hiding behind all the other things it's like a crackled effect how vintage does this look with the roses in the top? Little vase, £3.50. Oh, I love that. It's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. And then they've got these little baskets, not baskets, sorry, buckets, like flower buckets. It's giving me flower shop vibes. And I think you hang them. I wonder what you hang these on. Let me know in the comments what you, what you hang these little buckets on. I know you fill them with flowers and plants. But like, where do you hang them? Where would you hang them? 
They've got them in all these different colours, white, black, silver, and obviously I'm more attracted to the brass for my house. They're £1.30 each. What? That is so affordable. Moving on to throws and blankets. Always looking for a massive throw. Um, these are never big enough for my bed, unfortunately. But I suppose the house can't have enough throws. Oh my God, this, guys. Look at this. Oh, I love it. It's giving me Alice in Wonderland vibes with the checkerboard detail. Oh my God, it's like Borg checkerboard and four fur together. That is stunning little blanket throw for £24. I love that. It's quite pricey compared to the other ones though, isn't it? What's this one? Oh, that must be the pattern of the blanket, which is um, puzzling. £18 for that one. And then we've got this Chanel style blanket. I love this fabric. Doesn't it look rich, this fabric? £18. It says large, but I don't think they're that big. Um, but they look good in a basket as well. So here we've got some hot water bottles an avocado hot water bottle for six pounds still very cold isn't it so you can't have enough of these and then down below we've got some um animal print ones in different colors then we've got the pink four fur ones and they're only six pounds as well moving on we've got some christmas lights some string lights i'm guessing these have been left over from christmas time there's a lot on sale like these from seven pounds down to four pounds i quite like these copper cluster lights but if you want to add to your christmas collection now's the time because obviously everything's being sold off very very cheap um these are really nice look at these rose string lights for three pounds they're really bonny and are the outdoor lights where would you put them? I suppose you don't have to just have them at Christmas time. And then they've got these cotton ball string lights as well. Not too keen on them, to be honest with you. But I bet they'd look nice in like a baby's bedroom. Or, or are you allowed to put things like that in a baby's bedroom these days? <laughs> I don't even know today's rules. <laughs> Completely different rules to when I had my baby. Oh my God, this throw. It's giving. It's giving cat slater vibes, isn't it? Off EastEnders. Oh my God. Um... It's not a bit of me. And I know that the Mob Wives era is trending at the moment, isn't it, online? Um, and all the animal prints and the four furs and the glasses and the Mob Wives vibe. It's not a bit of me. Anyway, let's look into these throws over here. We've got this black and white. Is it called Yin Yang, this sign? Peace. I don't know what that is all about. It's a Chinese sign, isn't it, though? I know that. Um, and then we've got these. Are they fried eggs or are they daisies? <laughs> like, it doesn't surprise me, does it, in, in Primark? And then we've got all the other coloured throws as well from £4. Little blanket throws. And, yeah, you can't have enough of these, can you? So, um, loads of nice little colours. And then moving over here, they've even done the shelves. They've even started the shelves and I'm really impressed. Look at these, how sweet are these? These are giving me all the spring vibes. We've got these cushions and these are 12 pounds. They're very spring-like, very dainty and like pretty, aren't they? Pretty vibes. And then underneath that, we've got these sage green candles. Ooh, that smells absolutely lovely. It's like a eucalyptus vibe. That's a really gorgeous candle. What else have they got? So we've got some more little candle holders, glass candle holders, the, again in the green. This is more of a teal green. And these hold tea lights. These are quite pretty as well. If you're doing like a spring tablescape. And then we've got some sage green oh and they're not throws they're cushions my eyes deceive me i still need glasses you guys we need to get to the opticians <laughs> and then we've got these little burlap wrapped four plants moving on to some bedding 100 percent cotton so primark are doing better with the fabrics aren't they so they've got 100 percent cotton spring-like bedding are they to match them cushions and yeah they start from 20 pounds for a single 25 pounds for double 
30 pound for king and then mine is a bloody super king how much is mine 35 quid we've got this what is that <laughs> a wreath i couldn't think of the name i'm sorry i like these on the hoop they're really really nice aren't they but i've already put one on my front door but i'll show you that in the vlogs we've got some more fitted cotton sheets i'm not too keen on having the same um pattern on the duvet as i am on the bottom sheet it's too much it's too busy in my opinion and i think it makes it look value for money we've got these cushions up here and wow they're like a spring vintage vibes there's so much going on with them and oh my god it's embroidered them flowers on the front are embroidered they're giving beauty and the beast vibes with these little tassels on the edge but oh my gosh they're so sweet look at those imagine them on your bed in the spring we've got more cushion covers these are also embroidered embroidered little roses that is beautiful work these are absolutely stunning you guys in nine pounds i would i would pay nine pounds for that cushion cover that is beautiful and then we've got some more like just the law the law velvet cushions in the sad beige colors neutrals and then we've got the this peach color which is trending this year i believe peach yeah moving on we've got some more duvet cover sets a double for 10 pounds that is really good value for money i'm guessing it's not 100 percent cotton this one but it's nice nonetheless it's like um a pink fern vibes super king is only 14 pounds so that's nice moving on to baskets and storage loads of plastic boxes which we don't vibe with in my house but at the bottom we can get on board with these rope baskets oh this has got a couple more inside that's really sweet it's got it's got handles at the side and it's got this gray um detail on oh oh i'm not a black kind of a person but these stripe baskets are giving me all of the old money vibes i don't know why these are really nice they've also got them in a neutral as well and they hang off the wall aren't they nice and then at the bottom we've got some like duped and white ones as well i really quite like them we've got these stackable shoe boxes so four stackable shoe boxes for 10 pounds and they look like this that's quite handy isn't it if you've got small spaces or you've got a lot of shoes i suppose and it makes them look neater i used to have a lot of them and i gave them away we've got these large storage boxes in this linen style fold up design then we've got these which are three pounds and these are over the door hooks they've got this wooden peg style on them as well which i absolutely like very nice Okay, down the bottom here, we've got this utensil holder. I thought they just had these in like restaurants, but I suppose you could have one at home as well. Six pounds, it's really, really nice. It's like a rope style basket in the natural rope jute style detail. And then we've got more throws, which are really nice, like a four fur, but they've got like a ribbed effect. So they're 14 pounds. And they've got this sagey green. Is that sagey green or is that grey? I'm not too sure. The lighting in here is terrible. And then they've definitely got this sage green here. So I'm guessing the, that middle one's grey, looking at it next to this one, for £14. And then at the bottom, we've got a dark blue, navy blue. I love navy blue. We've got more embroidered cushion covers for £7, that one. And then this one is on sale. Wow, five pounds. It's like a chenille and it's in this gorgeous green teal color. It's giving me period home vibes. Like that would really go well in my house. Oh my God, what is that? Has somebody wiped their ass on this? Oh. Okay, more bedding, <laughs> you guys, from six pounds. But these are pillowcases and um, fitted sheets. They're giving all the spring vibes there's lots of patterns here i love the neutral fern style anything to do with nature and patterns 
I love that kind of thing. So that's really nice. And then this one's caught my eye. Oh my God, the colors in this are absolutely beautiful. It's like a cherry chocolate color and um, like a dusky pink. It's beautiful. So we're in the reduction section, everybody. And you know, I love a bargain. Uh, what have we got here then? So we've got this bunny wall storage, Primark baby, so it's for a baby's room from 18 pounds now it's 10 pounds and what's this then so it's just a wooden plaque isn't it with two shelves and some ears i suppose but look sweet in a baby's bedroom moving on we've got these bath mats all different kinds of bath mats shower mats i suppose as well you could have them outside of the shower looking forward to a new bathroom in our new house so but we're not quite ready for this stuff yet this is beautiful look at this it's textured and it's got a wooden top handle oh i feel like i want to buy this <laughs> but i'm not quite ready with the bathroom we haven't even got a bathroom yet so we've got some foam memory foam bath mats let me squish that oh it's quite soft it's very very plush very nice we've got the sage green we've got the light colored pink all beautiful colors of course i'm looking for a price have they got a price on these oh let's have a little look seven pounds seven pounds for a bath mat which is quite affordable we've got more colors here at the top and then moving on to towels i do need to upgrade my towels um at home so let's have a look so I'm really impressed that these are 100% cotton. Yeah, they're lovely, lovely towels. And I'm loving these little face cloth ones in this color for £2.50. I feel like I want to buy these, but again, I've not got a bathroom <laughs> to buy for. This color, this burgundy color, it's actually deeper color on camera. Look at it next to that neutral. How nice them colors go together. Beautiful. Oh my God, they've got these ribbed towels. Where did we see some of these? I think we saw them in a Dunelm video as well. They've got these ribbed towels, which I really, really love because I like the texture of them. Again, we're in the reduction section and what the hell are these? Are they bookends for five pounds? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't pay five pounds for that. I don't think it's worth it. Moving on, we've got holiday towels. Yeah, these are holiday towels. Beach towels, sorry. <laughs> Beach towels, there you go. And these are seven pounds. And then we've got some stripy beach towels. I've never seen this colorway before. This is the cream and dark green beach towel. Oh my God, that is beautiful beach towel. The colors of that one. And I've seen the bottom beigey boring one before. Moving on, we've got some more cotton fitted sheets. This one is beautiful. Look how vintage this looks. It's almost like a faded dusky pink on a cream linen looking background it's absolutely stunning and it's making me want to buy one again we've got these vintage leaves very faded looks like linen and a very faded print that's beautiful also as well for the spring and then we've got on sale here mrs potts teapot Sorry, it's not on sale. It's £14 from the Disney range. How lovely is that? I love, love Beauty and the Beast. Guys, look at this. It's a duvet cover set, but I would absolutely use this as a bedspread. It's embroidered as well in the green. It's £30. What is the size of that? What is the size of that? It's got pillowcases as well to match. Oh, I absolutely love it. And it's really affordable. If you're using that as a bedspread, it's really affordable. We've got more cotton duvet sets in these gorgeously nature green patterns. I just love green in my house. Not going to lie, I love it. I can't get enough of it. And yeah, that's beautiful. We've got this one here, which is giving me all the spring again vibes. It's very like muted colors. 
excuse me, very like toned down. We've got more throws on sale. These are like beige <laughs> plaid throws for £15 in the reduction section. Moving on, oh, these are giving me all the spring vibes. I love tulips. Who doesn't love fresh flowers? Obviously, these are four flowers. Do you know what? Six pounds. It's in a glass jar. They look really expensive. Let me feel the petals. They're foam. They're foam petals. They're not like the cheap silk flowers that you get from the pound shop. <laughs> And then we've got these, oh, I thought they were vases at first. They're actually candles. Oh, it smells lovely as well. Scented candles, linen cabana in this bubble style crackled effect as well. So that's pretty nice. It's six pounds for a candle. And then they've even set up like a bed of some sort over here to show off the bedding. I would have done it a lot better than that Primark, but um, no, it's nice to see the trying. <laughs> We've got this reed diffuser, which I love the bottle of it, but do you know, like, can you see what's bugging me about this bottle straight away, which makes it look really cheap? The sticker's not on right. I don't like stickers as it is, but um, the sticker's all wonky and it's really annoying me. We've got this little gold mirror tray as well which i find absolutely gorgeous but i've not seen them on the shelves maybe we'll find them elsewhere in the store here we go we've got some scents so we've got reed diffusers never seen these before cotton poplin so it's got citrus jasmine and sandalwood <gasps> the price three pounds oh i need to have a good sniff at these i wonder if they've got any out so we've got black vanilla, we've got these peony ones as well. They're all three pounds. And I really need to have a sniff of these. Vanilla. Oh, that's all right. That's okay. Oh, look at these. They've got silver and gold and the jewelry trays for 10 pounds, but you've got two inside of each other and they've got like ribbed glass on them as well. That's really affordable and they're really vintage looking. More candles. We saw the sage green ones earlier on in the video, but they've got these amber ones as well. And they're in a, like a neutral glass. These are really pretty. Actually, they smell really nice. So I think Primark are doing better with the candles. We've got these little, it's like brushed gold. Picture frames. These are so small, £1.30, wow, that is so good. If you were doing a little gallery wall in a, a little girl's room or whatever, that would that'd look absolutely lovely. And then they've got the larger ones here for £2, which are really affordable. Like, they're absolutely stunning. You could make a really good gallery wall out of those. We've got these urn vases in this grey colour. Very, very textured, almost like stone effect. We've then got this sea salt and sage candle. That sounds nice, doesn't it? It's like a sagey, sagey glass ribbed jar as well. Let's have a sniff. Very nice. Okay, what are these? Cotton, cotton sachets, scent sachets for £1.30. That sounds nice, the cotton one. If you're hanging it in a wardrobe. Ooh, groovy baby, what's that? <laughs> that's a little bit like it's hurting my eyes and then we've got this eucalyptus one and vanilla at the bottom we have a lot of water bottles because it's january isn't it lots of plastic water bottles in all sorts of different colors and then below we've got these giant ugly obnoxious looking bottles i'm sorry but this is just my opinion those stanley cups are the most ugliest bottles I have ever seen they're so obnoxiously horrible I cannot even cope I don't care that they're trending I don't care they're awful and then we've got these picnic blankets with the handles they're really sweet as well we need to do more picnicking especially now we live in the woods I think we'll do some more of that this year when it warms up oh these are so nice look at these microfiber cloths £1.50 for how many did you get in there Oh my god, they're gorgeous. And they've got these spring colours. It's giving me life. This is making me want to clean. This makes me want to do a clean with me video. This is inspiring me to clean my own house. These tea towels are absolutely gorgeous. Look at the patterns on those. Oh, I love them. They're very vintage. 
love them for my house considering getting some of them how much are they and then we've got these colors here no not too keen on the patterns on them ones <gasps> look at these you guys it's like a blue fine china print and for our period home this would look absolutely beautiful and then we've got some darker navy blue ones as well not too keen on them darker blue ones they're giving me like seaside vibes i don't know why and then we've got the green plaid which i'm not into but these these are absolutely stunning aren't they <gasps> shall i get these look at that back one oh, that's gorgeous well done primark we found some ceramic bells obviously i don't like the red ribbon but you can change the ribbon and uh, they're on sale look at that lots of things on sale from christmas it seems but them them i can get on board with at half price okay we're on to some stationery here and i do need notebooks all the time i love a notebook so we're downstairs in the women's wear and i'm just gonna have a quick scan around and see if there's anything new i don't think we saw these these are just round neck crew style jumpers for 12 pounds we've got more hoodies in as well i love this upper east side hoodie they just don't have it in the right color for me it's like a purple tone love that though let's have a little look what else they've got in the hoodies oh that's pretty as well we saw that in the last video though but i like that one because i like the stitching and then we've got this Sunday running club and I pointed it out in the last video just quickly but I wish that was embroidered because that would come off in the wash wouldn't it but the jumper itself is just lovely but on my way out last time and I didn't show you I saw this at the back it's got this really big obnoxious writing at the back and I'm not about that life so that puts me off okay so I remember that Paula et Charara range and i know that i just butchered her name and she's spanish she's obviously got more of a collection in primark so she must have been doing another collection so we've got these joggers as well and they're like acid wash is it called acid wash when it looks like bleach has been dropped on them or is it tie-dye i'm not too sure but 10 pounds for those joggers and the straight leg which i'm can get on board with i don't like the cuffed joggers we've also got this jumper as well from the polar range and i know that she's spanish so is that the place where she's from what what it says on the shirt it's lovely though i love the drop shoulder i just think they make him look so oversized and lovely so i think it's workout gear as well she's doing this is all part of her range and yeah it looks like leggings and workout gear which we're not about that life but i'll quickly scan over it for you guys but it's new in in my store anyway we've got three pounds for the caps more workout gear over here as you can see which i'm not into so you're not going to see any of that on my channel <laughs> and then we've got the yale collection i do love the university collections sometimes um yeah love they've got the varsity jackets and then oh oh what the hell in the hell is that how demonic are those drawings what okay more workout gear in store new in we must have just missed it the last time we came i said it will be full of workout gear in the january so we've got some nails here and i just thought now is a good time to give you an update so we stopped having our nails done and i've been just painting them myself so these are my natural nails as you can see so far so good they're looking really nice but before i started doing that i used to buy these stick on nails i stopped getting acrylics when we were um saving for a house because it costing me a fortune and then i couldn't live without my nails so i used to use these ones these nude colors more so the ombre shade which they don't look like they've got in store at the moment we've got these which are new five pounds for hair care products frizz control and heat protection cream and then for 12 pounds we've got some new spring like pajamas in store these weren't in last time so these are definitely new they're giving me all the spring vibes 12 pounds for a full set yeah 12 pound for a full set i love the lace details on them and the like the colors the colors giving me life 
any more pyjamas that are new. They just do so many pyjamas. They're just great for pyjamas, aren't they? I just love the pyjama section. They all seem to be £12 and they're just all very sweet. Lovely pyjamas with lace trim. I like the lace details. That's really, really sweet. Oh, I love these. Look at these. So these are pyjama bottoms. I love the print. Oh, it's giving me tall de jouy vibes, but I've got some like this. Look at the details on these. Well done, Primark. They've piped the pockets and they've got the robe. Oh my God, they've got the maxi robe to match. I love it when they do that. You know, when they have the full set, including the robe. So if you're watching this Primark design team, please make the robes that go with all of the sets because we would just buy them all, wouldn't we? <laughs> Leave me a Lion King emoji in the comments. If you know, you know. <laughs> Here are all the garish stuff. Um, these give me headache. I cannot even deal with these kind of things. Who's wearing these to bed? It's just my opinion, but my good God, my husband would have a fit if I came to bed in those. I can get on board with these though. These are really sweet. Look at the colour of this with the lace trim. They're really sweet. And the shorts have got the lace on as well. They're very vintage looking with the ditzy print as well. Ooh. So I love these for underneath my pyjamas and at night because I don't like to wear a proper bra. And um, these are push-up ones. I've never seen these before. Look at the colours. Oh, wow. They've got post-surgery bras which is really, really good, but it just shows how popular breast surgery is. So we're in the maternity section. They've changed the store around and I'm really <laughs> loving this jumper. I'm not pregnant, obviously, but I'm showing it to you guys. I promise you, I am not with child. <laughs> I'm just getting on board with this. Um, look at this dress, it's lovely. I mean, obviously for a pregnant bump, but I like it anyway. Like, could I get away with that? I mean, I've got a food baby. <laughs> These pyjamas are new as well, black and white style beaded pyjamas, I quite like those, they look quite expensive, £12 for the top, and then they've got the trousers over there, I can't reach up there you guys, slippers, mm. oh I don't like them, look at them foam slippers, no. and then we've got pairs of socks, which I really need a lot of these, a lot more of these, let's just see the content because Oh, 90% cotton. Lovely. Oh my God, I used to buy these all the time because when I used to work as a travel agent, in my 95, I had to wear court shoes. And that's what I used to wear in my court shoes because otherwise, if you know, you know. <laughs> I miss those. And then we are still in the maternity section. So we've got maternity jeans. I'm not a jeans kind of a girl <laughs> at all. Um, but look at these, um, they're really stylish pieces though. Imagine the shirt with those jeans and a bump. Oh my God, that is so cute. I'm feeling a little bit broody. <laughs> I'll tell you what I am feeling broody for, a holiday. Oh my God, take me away. I wish. I mean, you can always count on Primark to give us the dupes. We've got the Ramoa case dupes. Obviously, Ramoa is steel. Wow. Wow. £20, this cream vintage looking jacket. I don't do leather jackets, but I really like that. That is so nice. Also, this is new. This textured style dress, maxi dress. I like the texture on it. It's got full sleeves. It's all the way down to the floor. It's got splits up the side, so it look gorgeous with a pair of pointy toe boots. However, it's the neckline for me. That neckline will do nothing for my boobs. I've got big boobs and I suit a V-neck more than anything. What's this behind? Let's have a look. That's new. Oh, 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 what is that? It's like a tunic style pinstripe. Oh, I don't like the fabric, you guys. No. It, feels really cheap sorry <laughs> this dress is beautiful i've got one like this from boohoo and everybody asks me where it's from it's got v-neck plattering on the boobs i just belt it with a tan belt and it looks really bloody good 
and they've got this one in Primark and it's almost identical. Gorgeous. Love that dress. And then we've got these new Macs. So this is the Primark edit, they've called it. And I think it's like a more premium range. And you can tell it's more premium. Like I'm really excited about these collections. Oh, interesting. It's got like leather on the interior, looks like this. That is a gorgeous little Mac. I would buy that totally oversized. That's what it looks like on the picture. Again, in the Primark edit, this gorgeous tan bag. It's like a half moon style bag. That's not my preferred bag shape, but I know some of you guys would love that bag shape. Gorgeous colors. I love a pop of tan. I love tan accessories. And then, oh wow, they've got these basic t-shirts and they're really elevated pieces, like thick material. I can spot some holiday clothes over here. Ooh, ooh, what was this? That colour green is absolutely stunning, like a khaki green. And I love a full costume. If you just put a belt around it in the middle, it looks gorgeous and chic. All of this collection is absolutely stunning. I think I'm just in love with the green. Let's go and have a little look. We've got these lace caftans. How nice are these? They've got green bikinis, all the different bikini ways, you know, bottoms and tops. They've got overshirts. That overshirt is beautiful. Oh, that's stunning. Look at the vintage patterned green bikini. Uh, bikini, I mean swimsuit. These gorgeous little jumpers as well. They're really nice in the spring. I love these. They're really nice in the spring. They're also really nice over a costume, like a swimsuit on holiday. If it gets a bit chilly at the end of the day, I just think they're gorgeous. They've got some different ones as well. They're new. Still in the Primark edit. And they've got full max. And then they've got these hobo bags, these massive tote bags with the big obnoxious buckle, which I absolutely love. I pointed it out in the last video. I think I saw this in the last. Is that the same coat in the last video? 50% wool blend and 60 quid. And it's like a camel coat. The, honestly, the quality is just, it's super heavy. I love it. Like, they're doing a lot with this collection. I am so impressed. Okay, we've got some denim dresses. Now, I love the idea of the denim midi dress. That looks absolutely gorgeous with the tan accessories. However, that, that material feels cheap. No, it's not, it's not, I wouldn't choose it. I mean, it's lightweight if you like that sort of thing. And then we've got these tan leather jackets as well. But the denim and the tan together are gorgeous, aren't they? Okay, you guys, I think we're all done here. And the birds are singing. And I thought I would just give you a shot there of the cathedral as I'm walking through. And I am on my way home in the cold. It's literally Baltic out there. The dryer's just started, you guys. I forgot it was on. It goes to sleep sometimes and then restarts and I'm like, oh, <laughs> friend, life out of me. Baltic out there, like freezing. And actually, it's no better in the house. In fact, the other day, I didn't tell you guys on the vlogs, because I think I was just finishing a vlog, and um, it was so cold, I had my hat on and my gloves in bed and my Soho dressing gown robe. <laughs> That's how cold it was. Listen, it's no fun living through a renovation, you know. Sometimes I think people think I'm living the life of Riley. Like, you don't see the, the bad bits, you know. Like, the freezing cold um, evenings. Getting wrapped up cosy warm in your bed. And things like that. Anyway, today was amazing in Primark. I was getting all of the spring sunshine vibes and I can't wait. I can't wait for that time. I love the spring. I love every season for what it is. You know, because it's just a nice newness from the season we've just had. Like, we're all over winter now, aren't we, I think. And it's just going to be nice to get some spring sunshine on our faces. I'm loving seeing all the spring colours as well. In fact, you know I'm not a colourful type of girl. It's really inspiring me to be a bit more colourful. So, um, yeah, I think we're all over this sad beige era, aren't we? But I picked up a couple bagfuls of things some home bits as well so we've got some home bits 
and I picked up a couple of things from the clothing downstairs women's wear section. So um, this video was primarily focused on the home section and it didn't disappoint. They have actually improved that area upstairs in Primark. So I'm very excited for what's to come. They had some really good bits in, didn't they? I'm, I'm really, really like, I'm really, really grateful for that. Anyway, this video, sorry about me. <laughs> this video is probably really, really long already. So I am going to make a cup of tea. I'm gonna get nice and warm, as warm as I can in the house. A cup of tea always works, doesn't it? And then I will see you hopefully in the next Primark video where I'll do the haul, but it's not gonna be the actual next video. So you're seeing this video on Thursday evening. And on Sunday, I'm actually halfway through a vlog already for Sunday night. So you're gonna have a really, really big vlog to look forward to on Sunday. Shall I include the Primark haul in the vlog? <gasps> I don't know. Why am I not good at this? It's so confusing, isn't it? So you're gonna see this video Thursday night. Right, okay, so Sunday is a vlog. If I include this Primark haul in the vlog, I might do, you will see it in the title. It'll say Primark haul in the title, so you'll know. Or just watch the vlog, you know. <laughs> And if I don't include it in Sunday's vlog, then it'll be its own Primark haul video on Tuesday night. How's that? I hope that makes some sense. And that, guys, brings us to the end of the video. Thanks so much for sticking with me and coming along to Primark. I hope you all enjoyed yourself. Did you get inspired? Always, always leave me a comment because I love chatting with you guys down there. Don't forget to thumbs up this video because it really helps my channel out the most. You guys are doing amazing for me this year with the likes and the comments and the shares and it really does help my channel to grow and it just makes it all really, really worthwhile. So and I know I don't say this in every video because you get bored of me saying it, but I really, really do appreciate you all being here so much like you're the best friends ever and i just love it i love this community i just love this community so much you guys are so supportive and i just love being with you in the comments you know and just chatting away and like i feel like i've got the most amazing friends so thank you so much for being here with me as usual and I will see you all hopefully in the next video, which will be a vlog on Sunday night. So see ya.